back to my channel. My name is Coley and today I have another episode of house hunting, apartment hunting, town house hunting, whatever you want to call it. Basically I go around and I look at houses that I want to buy and I am so excited for today's episode because I am going to see pretty much the townhouse of my dreams because this is the first house when I was scrolling through the real estate website just looking at everything up for offer that made me go, ooh. I really like her and from that moment forward I haven't been able to stop looking at townhouses like all I can picture right now is myself living in a townhouse and this is the townhouse that started it all and today there is an open inspection and you best believe I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna film it and talk you guys through it because I'm so excited to see what this looks like and how it lives up to my expectations and all that sort of stuff. So basically there's not really much else to talk about other than the fact that we need to get on the road and we need to get to this open house. I will talk you through all the footage, hope that I get some good stuff. And then when we get back, we will talk prices, we will talk pros, we will talk cons and all that good stuff. So let's go check out the house. Okay, so this was the outside of the townhouse. It was absolutely gorgeous. I loved the colors. And the first thing to your left when you walked in was the laundry, quickly followed by the kitchen, which I'll show you a bit more later. I was clearly rushed, but the kitchen is beautiful. I love how white it was. I love the white splashback. Like this is my ideal kitchen. It would be so perfect for filming. Oh, it was just, look at that kitchen. I mean, come on, that is absolutely stunning. And then there is this nice open area, which I don't really show till later because I'm an idiot, but then hi, straight up the stairs. So the first thing you see to the right, what are we going to the left? Okay. Hello. Here is a little loft area, which I thought was just so much fun. Like I'd make that an office, but moving on swiftly to the master bedroom, frosted windows. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that at the end, but hello, this is the master. It is gorgeous it's got a huge walk-in wardrobe like that is so much space it's insane and then it's got a gorgeous bathroom here with a double headed shower which I mean I don't really understand the point of it but I'm here for it you know and yeah the only downside would be probably a bigger bench would be nice in the master bedroom but anyway moving out this is the loft area super nice now going from the stairs down the little hallway there is two more bedrooms which could be an office it could be a gym you could rent it out the end the possibilities are absolutely endless they were really nicely sized i love the dark carpet it, oh, it's just such a nice townhouse anyway here is the guest bathroom there is a bath there is a shower there is a really nice sized bench area with the sink it was just again a really beautiful bathroom i was very happy with it it also had temperature control oh look at that you can control how hot your shower is so going back down the stairs this is the open living area just down from the kitchen which i didn't show earlier for some dumb reason but heading outside there is a covered garage area as well as a spot that can fit another car out front and then there is a very small backyard but I mean big enough to have a small dog or you know do my workout videos and stuff like that but yes beautiful backyard heading back inside you can see the beautiful living area again another overview of the kitchen which I am just so in love with and then another quick peek of the laundry in just a second when I've shown you the fridge space hello you can put a fridge there <laughs> okay so that is the laundry again. Okay, so we are back and let me tell you, <laughs> she's bloody beautiful. So this is a Campbelltown townhouse, which means it's a townhouse in Campbelltown, which is, I don't know how far that is from the city actually. It's like tw 20 minutes maybe, or oh, could be wrong, not actually sure, but it's an outskirts of the city southern kind of like the last house that i toured in this series anyway let me tell you this house was a dream she was absolutely beautiful i'm absolutely obsessed now there was a lot more pros to this house than there were cons but there were a few cons that i do want to talk about so <laughs> the first con which my parents pointed out straight away was that this townhouse is right next to 
a double lane road and you are the end townhouse so you can hear traffic which I mean it's not that big of a deal but I currently live in the country and there's no traffic you hear nothing and for what I do hello you all this filming traffic noise isn't the best and there was a lot of traffic and this was at 12 p.m so this was not rush hour so that I mean that's a factor you've really got to take that into consideration especially when I love to film and I'd be doing YouTube all the time in that place and it was right next to a busy road traffic so just ignore the sounds of plates banging in the background. I filmed this literally the second I got home from the open house because I was so excited and my parents were making lunch. Like I literally could have just waited 20 minutes and filmed it then, but I was too excited. So sorry. The other thing that I didn't really like and I didn't realize until I was actually in the house, like I didn't notice it from the online photos. And that was that the upstairs windows were frosted is that the word like you couldn't see out of them which I mean I mean, <laughs> I mean it makes total sense when you think about it because this is a group of townhouses you don't want your neighbors to be looking out their windows into your backyard you don't want to be looking into your neighbors houses it makes total sense and I respect that privacy I love that that people can't just see me through their windows but I really didn't like that I wouldn't I, I just like to be able to look out of the window and get that much more bright light like hello we want as much light as possible because we love to film but yeah it just sort of made you forget where you were because you couldn't just look out a window and see trees you just saw frosted glass but other than that like it's not really a game changer it's not really like a do the <laughs> It's not really a give all, do all, take. What am I talking about? It deal breaker. It's not really a deal breaker. It was unfortunate, but it wouldn't stop me buying the house, is what I was saying. But the traffic, we'd have to think about it. So buying the house. Ahem. Let's talk details. So this beautiful dream town house is. 143 square meters, so pretty much double the size of the apartment that I toured in this last episode. And she is 450 thousand dollars. For those of you that aren't mathematically inclined, don't worry, girl, I got it. Me too. That's almost half a million. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of money. See, if I was buying this with a partner, eh, not so bad, but your girl is as single as it comes and is working on her own to buy a place, so that's a lot of money. <sighs> but you know, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two car spaces, beautiful location. Oh, I love her. She's such a dream, but like, it's not going to happen. I'm not. I don't have a stable enough income to pay off a mortgage of $450,000, but I am very excited that I've been able to go inside this place and see what it looks like and realize that I do really love townhouses and this, I'm going to keep looking through townhouses and see what other things I can find because they are so beautiful and I am so in love with this one, like the beautiful white kitchen. Oh, she was a dream. I'm just, I loved this house and I'm so excited. I have now been in and toured a townhouse, let alone the first one that made me absolutely fall in love with townhouses. So episode two, she's a bloody doozy. Don't know how we're going to do better than this one because this townhouse, I love her. Like, if David Dobrik, were to send me half a million dollars. Thank you, that would be greatly appreciated. Hell yeah, I'd go buy that right now, but I don't have half a million dollars, so. Instead, we're gonna go on www.realestate.com and keep searching and keep looking at half a million dollar houses and realizing that I need to get another job. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> but. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've got new videos every week. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.